On this video, I'm going to be reviewing Mark Wahlberg's collection again, being that he's added several new heavy hitting pieces. Our sponsor for this video is Temple of Dream. For a chance to win a brand new Rolex with as little as $40, click on the link in the description below and join one of their weekly competitions. Limited tickets are available. So I already did a review on Mark Wahlberg's collection in the past and he gave him a score of 7.5 on his watch game status. Now I don't know what's been going on, if maybe he just really went all the way in into the hobby or if, um, I doubt it has to do with the video, but maybe it could be more of, um, I don't know, maybe his peers or the guy's just really going off into the deep end into this whole game. But he has really stepped it up. He's had some heavy, heavy pieces that I've noticed he's been adding to the collection and we're gonna go over them and I'm gonna give a new score of what I think he's at in the watch game. So Mark Wahlberg seems to be a fan of more Rolex and Patek Philippe over everything. And he's added several Rolexes that really have gotten my attention. Let's start with the fact that he's obtained all three of the Rolex rainbows. He's got the white gold, the yellow gold, and he's added the rose gold. I mean, he's got all three of the rainbows, which is pretty impressive on the whole Rolex diamond lineup. He's got all the heavy pieces. Another one he's added is the Rolex GMT white gold that comes with the sapphire and diamond bezel with the diamond pave dial. Another nice piece, and let me tell you, I didn't know that he liked diamonds so much. On the previous video, I mentioned that he had obtained an iced out watch, but I didn't know he was that much into ice. Another one that made it very apparent is the guy got a Rolex Pearl Master 864009 RBR reference number. This is a $220,000 Pearl Master that's fully iced out factory. Am I crazy about the size in the watch? No, but I tell you what, guy's got some serious commitment. You know, in the past, he had that Rolex Date 840 with the Pave dial and the emerald green bezel. That's a heavy hitter. It's a $500,000 presidential. That's the one that really got my attention on the previous review where he was going in with these diamond watches. But obviously he's added many more that has really said, this guy's really getting into this. He also added a very subtle Rolex Date 840 Platinum that's got the Arabic writing numbers. Cool looking watch, something different. Not that easy to actually obtain, but again, a cool watch that's worth mentioning. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that right now, as far as Rolex, the guy has more diamond out ones than anything else. I mean, he's got the serious heavy hitters in diamond when it comes to Rolex. All right, so on to Patek. Let's start with the obvious heavy hitters. You know, the guy bought a 5990 with full baguette factory ice, $1.2 million. I mean, pretty much makes DJ Khaled's chandelier look like a clunker, in my opinion. This guy's got the factory baguette 5990. Damn, when I saw that, I was like, this guy really went into the deep end. You know, let's forget about having a good connection with an AD or something. This guy really went into the deep end. He also followed that up with the Patek 5719 10G, which is pretty much a 5711 with factory ice with also baguette bezel, so on and so forth. Another $500,000 watch, full diamond. Damn, guy's killing it. Okay, he went on there to get the Patek 5740 white gold, which is pretty much a perpetual calendar Nautilus. Another $200,000 watch in today's market. He also got a Patek 5980 rose gold standard watch, but nowadays it's not very easy to get. I mean, I would say it's a must with all those other pieces he has. Gotta get that one too. Another 150,000 in today's market. Now he also got that Patek Aquanaut green. I like it, it's the 5168G. I think I like better the blue one, but the green one is cool. It has a total different twist and you're Mark Wahlberg, why not? So the other ones I'm gonna add are actually more gentleman watches into this collection because he added some leather strap Patek. He got a Patek 5207G Grand Complication Turbion. That's a badass watch. 
I mean, you really gotta like watches to have it because it's not a crazy big watch. It doesn't have all those elements where people that don't really know about watches would go for it just because of the glitz and glamour. This is a dedicated watch guys, watch fanatic, watch collector's piece. Easy $1 million watch and they're not very easy to get. He followed that up with a Patek 5370P. Now this is a split seconds chrono, really cool looking watch, not something you can easily find. $250,000 there. I mean, definitely he's added so much more dynamic to his collection that I had to do review, and I hope to see him add a lot more. Now, I don't see him adding Richard Mill because it doesn't seem like that type of guy, but, you know, pretty impressive to see it from him. So, where does this leave us? You know, Mark Wahlberg added about $4 million to his collection in the past year. I mean, the guy really has gone into a rampage, and he really likes watches. Now that I can add those watches to the last pieces that he had on the previous collection, I would say he's easily right now with a score of a nine in the watch game. And the guy likes serious watches. So feel free to comment below how you feel about the new additions to Mark Wahlberg's watch collection. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell till it looks like this. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric, this is Watch Your Style.